What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, we are talking about weird or unique baits that actually catch fish. Should be a fun one, let's go. I've wanted to do this video for quite some time now because I've always wondered what it's like to be a non-bass fisherman walking through the aisles of a tackle shop. You know, what the heck is that? Or what would you throw or catch on that, right? There's so many unique or weird looking baits when you go into tackle shops. You know, maybe not in like a Walmart or a, you know, some kind of grocery store tackle shop section, but when you go into a, le a legitimate tackle shop or you're shopping online, there are some baits that are like, what the heck, right? So this will be a fun one. I got, uh, uh, I don't know, seven or eight baits for you guys that as a non-fisherman probably look like the craziest, weirdest, unique piles of plastic and metal. Uh, and it's just probably really, I'd like to know what goes on in people's minds when they see something like this, you know, hanging from a fish's mouth or something like this hanging from a peg in a tackle shop. So those of you guys that don't know, this is a, a buzz bait, a double bladed buzz bait. This is a big Magnum flutter spoon. That's the big Ben Parker spoon by Nichols. Caught giants on it. Caught giants on this. Or how about just the basic whopper plopper? You know, I threw this one in here because this is a bait that I missed. When it first came out, I saw that thing and I'm like, mm, nah, I'm good. And uh, it wasn't till I had someone fishing with me that I heard the sound and then saw the blow ups and I realized, mm, missed the boat on that one. So the Whopper Plopper, for me, that was the bait that uh, I missed. So hopefully with these baits today, uh, you guys will maybe see the light, maybe the light bulb goes off and you can incorporate them in your fishing. So let's start off with this guy right here. I don't even know what kind of category you want to put this bait in. This is the Mega Bass Eye Wing 135. Now this is a top water bait and a lot of these baits that I'm going to start off with are top water baits because right now is top water season. I wanted to give you guys some baits that you can go out and catch fish on right now. But honestly, top water, that technique has some of the craziest looking sounding baits on uh, on the market. That Just that category uh, just has some really unique baits. So this bait right here, like I said, that's that Mega Bass, the Eye Wing 135. When it casts, these metal wings fold forward so you can get longer distances, but this is a big, real large profile bait in the water. Now I'm going to overlay some some uh, slow motion for you, but you can see these wings really stick out in the water, and they just get a real side to side, real big water wa water wobble. They really cup the water, and believe it or not, out of out, out of all these baits, it sounds a lot like the Whopper Plopper. Those of you guys that have thrown a Whopper Plopper, you know there's different speeds you can fish it at. But when you get that right speed, you get that plop, 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 plop. When you hear that sound, you know that you're fishing at the right speed. This guy right here has that sound. It can be fished really aggressively. A ton of commotion on the surface. You know, kind of reminds me of like a, a peacock bass, you know, ripping like a, a big topwater plug, just ripping it as hard as you can and having those things blow up. This can be burned or it can be fished fairly slow and just puts off an amazing sound. But in the package, it looks crazy. So that's the first one. Sticking with that same style of bait, gonna downsize a little bit for you, and this is the Jackal Pompadour. Same type of deal, has those metal wings, fins, wings, whatever you wanna call it. On the back, it actually has a prop, a blade, 
added extra commotion. But this thing is a downsized version of the Mega Bass, quite a bit smaller. Maybe you guys would be more apt to throw this before getting one of these. But this thing, same type of deal, just has that real wide, blah, 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 real, I don't even know the best word to describe these types of baits. It just has a real unique sound, a real unique wobble, and the fish just haven't seen it as much. They haven't heard it as much. And you guys know, a bass will eat a giant chunk of metal. If it is put in its face, it is making sound, or it has a unique movement, a bass will eat it. Heck, we have a bass in our aquarium that the kids caught. We feed it all the time. You can stick your finger in there and it'll bite it if you wiggle it, right? I mean, it bass aren't the smartest per se, but they are aggressive. So when you throw something in their face with a ton of vibration, a ton of sound, or over their head, they are investigative creatures. They want to know what that is, and they want to kill it. So that's the Jackal Pompadour. Like I said, it's this kind of a downsized version. Again, these are topwater baits. Got some really unique sound and some really unique movements on the surface. So sticking with the topwater baits, that's two. I'm gonna go with this guy right here. This is a new bait I cast this year. This is the Z-Man Hellraiser. And you might think, what the heck is that? I did. I'm looking at this bait, I see where the uh, line tie is, I see this whole contraption on the back, mm, yeah man, I don't know. I got it out on the water and holy cow, this thing has a really, really tight walk, has an amazing sound, and again, like I said with these other baits, the bass don't care if it's a sound that they haven't heard or seen they're going to eat it. Uh, the difference with this bait, with the weighted system, the clacker in the back, uh, if you do let off the handle turns, this bait will sink. These other two will float, but that guy right there has a real tight topwater wiggle. You can hear it. When that thing is rattling right there, you got those, those uh, Balls inside, BBs inside, whatever they are, making a ton of sound. But this has a real tight wobble, and it's just a unique topwater bait that we've caught fish on. That guy right there, that is the Z-Man Hellraiser. Now, I have a couple more for you. A couple more hard baits, and then a frog, and then we'll talk about some soft plastics. Woo, it's hot out here. Got the sweat dripping. Um, this next guy. This is the Savage Gear Prop Walker. What's cool about this bait, it comes in a few different sizes. What's cool about this bait, it has a pencil popper style face, body shape. It works really well just walking it like you would your traditional walking topwater bait. Your spooks, your vixens, your shower blows, your gunfish, you know, those types of baits, right? Great sound, you can see the hook is almost halfway back on the bait. This bait sits in the water like that. The fish hardly miss the back end of this bait. Now here's what makes this unique or weird or special, depending on how you look at it. These guys right here, you can literally pop out, get this out pop out the back end, and now it is a cast and retrieve bait. You don't have to get this thing walking side to side. You can, but then you can flip out those little uh, PVC pins in the back, fins in the back, do a little transformation, a little transforming, and now you have a bait you can make a long cast and reel it back and now you're doing the same type of retrieves that you would with the Whopper Popper, okay? You get tired of doing that, got these little pins right here, they pop right back on, and you're back into business on your walking bait. 
Comes in, like I said, a couple different sizes. I really like this size right here. This is the little 100 size. Great working pencil popper, top water bait, and then an added, added bonus, now you have a subtle whopper plopper style top water bait. So really cool with that, caught a bunch of fish on that guy, fishing it both ways. But because it is so different, typically I'm fishing at that straight retrieve, more of that subtle whopper plopper style uh, retrieve and the fish just annihilate it. One more hard bait for you. Man, I'm cooking out here. One more hard bait for you and then we'll go soft baits. This guy right here, you guys might have seen this before on the channel. This is the Jackal PQ PQ. Now, it took me a while to figure out what the heck this bait is right like do i tie on the front on the line tie it's got a line tie in the back what the heck in the video where i caught a bunch of fish on it i told you that um it took me about a half an hour to really figure out what makes this bait special and how to fish it and here's the deal light line spinning rod tie in the back right here this is a wacky rigged top water bait. That is the best way I can describe this. A wacky rig, kind of like your, your favorite stick bait, your Senko, whatever. Picture a wacky rigged hard top water bait. Fire this thing out there and you shake, 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 stop. Shake, 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 stop. And you have to do it on slack line. And what this bait does, it sits there and just shimmies. Puts off, puts off this really cool vibration like a kind of wounded bait fish frequency vibration and the fish just come up and eat it. They had no problem getting it. It's not a fast moving bait. It's just something about that dying bait fish profile, shimmy, that this thing works. I've never seen a hard, wacky rigged top water bait. But like I said, in that video, I can link it down below in the video description. But once I figured out how to fish this guy, they were coming unglued, eating it, and they were had no problem getting it. They were getting it in the roof of their mouth, just annihilating this thing. Um, that is the Jackal PQ PQ. Okay. This next bait, got uh, a few more for you. We're gonna do soft plastics here shortly. This kind of, well, it's a frog, so I guess I'll put it in the uh, hard-bodied, soft-bodied, non-finesse category. But this is, the Depths Basariski, if I'm pronouncing that right. I've had these frogs for years. I got several of them, different colors. What makes this frog special, as you can see, are these fins right here. It looks like no other frog on the market, but it looks a lot like these other topwater baits that I've mentioned today. So you can imagine the way this thing walks. You don't have to walk it like a normal frog. Fire it out there, just like that whopper plopper, you try and get that right cadence, your handle turns, and this thing will start turning sideways, cupping that water, splashing, and it's plop, 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 plop. It works really, really well. Now this is not going to be your on the grass, on your pad type of frog. This is gonna be your sparse grass frog. It's gonna be your grass line edge frog. But basically, it's a weedless, subtle buzz bait that doesn't sink. So again, that's that depths frog. I'll link all this stuff down below in the video description, but you can see these soft arms on it. You don't wanna fish this thing too fast because these will fold back and it'll just kinda of just plow water. You gotta find that right cadence. But when you do, this thing has a ton of action, some really cool spitting sounds, but that guy right there is a frog you guys should try. All right, hard baits are done. I got three soft baits for you, and then I will quit cooking out here. All right, now let's switch to soft plastics. I have three of them for you. The first one that I wanna talk about is gonna be the Bellows Gill by G-Crack. G-Crack, G-Crack, I think it's G-Crack, but it's like, what in the world is that? Is that a leech? Is it a, a bluegill imitator? What is it? But what's cool about this, besides the action, 
It could be fished so many different ways. It could be weightless, like a Senko. It could be fished on a Texas rig, a Carolina rig. It could be flipped, it could be pitched. It could be on a drop shot. It can be on a free rig. This thing is super versatile. That's that little smaller size. Comes in a bunch of different sizes. But the thing has a ton of action, a ton of scent, and it is just a straight fish catcher. That's the big one, that's the 5.8. Like I said, comes in several different sizes. There's the 2.8 electric shad. I love fishing this thing vertically on a drop shot or texting it, Texas rigging it weightless, just text posing the hook and flipping this around docks, anywhere you're fishing around panfish, bluegill, crappie, that sort of thing, this guy right here works. Next one, this guy right here, the Depths Cover Scat. It's another one. I looked at the package, like what is this? You know, what is this trying to emulate? What is it trying, what, what is it? And uh, believe it or not, this thing straight up catches them. The best way I can describe this is a little bit heavier Senko. You fish it weightless on a Texas rig. Again, I'll link all the, the products down below in the video description, the hooks, all that stuff. It has a little, nice little hook keeper right there. It's really heavy, kind of back weighted. This thing skips amazing, amazingly well, uh, but it's made to be fished on bottom weightless. Uh, like a creature bait, like a, a crawdad or a jig. Again, weed weedless. My best guess is it's made to emulate like a, a crawdad or something like that. But uh, again, looks really weird in the package. Comes in three different sizes. This is actually the largest size. I have that rigged on a, a EWG Superline hook. But again, this is another bait that is unique, weird looking, but it actually works. Last but not least, before I roast out here, get this guy out of here. This bait really stood out to us in our underwater footage. This is the Spro Pintail Minnow. Look at this guy. This is a drop shot bait. Has two appendages that really work independently and really subtle. So if you are a finesse fisherman, a drop shot guy, a Demiki rig guy, a Ned rig guy, this is a bait that you need to check out. You know, most of the baits in this category, in that three to 3.75 inch category drop shot bait, most, almost all of them have one tail or appendage. This has two and they work independently and that is what really makes this one stand out in the category. But looking at it, I'm like, hmm, yeah, I don't know about that. Got to look into the underwater footage, and it's like, okay, the light bulb went off with this one as well. But that guy right there, I like to rig that on uh, a number one or number two drop shot hook, either the uh, G Finesse, um, the Aaron Martin's hook, or the uh, Mosquito Light, the owner, both work really well, but that bait, it's a fairly resilient, durable bait, but has amazing action underwater. So there it is, guys. Hopefully, you know, this, this video made you laugh because, you know, pulling out these baits, like I said earlier in the intro, trying to figure out what goes through people's minds when they're walking through a tackle shop or shopping online and they're looking at stuff like this. Like, what? is the deal, right? And we know that buzz baits work. We know that big spoons work, whopper ploppers. These guys work as well. You know, they might look a little funny, but the fish don't care. Guys, down below in the comment section, I wanna hear some of your favorite, unique, weird looking baits that actually catch fish. And just like every video, I will link all this stuff down below in the video description. You guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button, and we will see you on the next video.